Virgo, welcome to your general reading. I hope you're well. I hope you are fabulous. As you can see, we're having a little fun this week. Your Earth cousin Taurus, we just went into their season April 19th, and I, I wanted to do something a little special for uh, the Taurus season, and by that I mean just be, well, like this. <laughs> Super chill, bathrobe, slippers, you know, pajamas. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun to do something a little different. You know what I mean? What should I do for your birthday season? Put in the comments. Oh, what's some Virgo energy I can adopt that, that I can actually show on camera? Oh, you got to tell me, guys. Virgo, tell me in the comments. Oh, how can I have fun for your birthday season? You got to let me know. Okay? But yeah, that's what we're doing today. Now... We're going to start off with the oracles, yeah? And uh, like I've been doing for everybody, I have been doing some very small pendulum work. Uh, it's one thing to use a pendulum in your own practice. It's another thing to use it in the collective readings, but I like it. It's been picking up on some very sensitive energy, and I'm, I'm liking it. So, I might make that a regular thing, all right? Show me Virgo, please. Show me Virgo. Show me Virgo, please. What is going on for that Virgo collective? Show me the Virgo collective, please. Show me Virgo. Show me Virgo, please. Ooh. As I've been saying, pendulums can be fun. They pick up on some very sensitive energies. If you'd like to get one, get one that speaks to you. Oh. Okay. What's going on? What is going on? Let's see what's up. Temperance, the devil. Healing from some difficult energy. That's the long and short of it. Sagittarian energy as well as Capricorn. But healing from something difficult, toxic, within yourself, outside of yourself, I don't know. But we shall see. What's going on, Virgo? What's going on? What are you struggling with? What are you dealing with? We are using the Game of Thrones deck this week. Love it. It's one of my favorites. I have not used it in a while. Show me Virgo. Show me Virgo, please. Show me Virgo, please. Show me that Virgo energy. Show me Virgo, please. What's going on? Nine of Spears. Exhausted for some of you. Show me. What's going on with Virgo, please? Mm -hmm. What's going on for Virgo, please? The sun. Two of cups. The moon. There's this idea that you are happy, that you are warm, that you have love. But it goes into a space of the moon. Pisces energy. The mass and Pisces in your chart could be dealing with one. What's going on? The sun, two of cups, the moon. Who is surrounding Virgo, please? Who is surrounding? Who is surrounding Virgo, please? We also have Leo energy here, of course. Who is surrounding Virgo, please? Knight of Pentacles. Devil here twice. Two of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving. Heavy Earth energy here. So, as I often have to point out with the Earth folks, if you're dealing with a fellow Earth sign, you need to figure out who is who. Virgo Capricorn Taurus. Okay. 
uh, just in that respect that the pentacle means more than one thing to earth. You put a lot into it. It's not just your stability. It's not just uh, your habits. It's it's not just your finances. It's not just your resources. It's your time, energy, and effort, but also a big part of who you are in terms of personality and love energy and so forth. So if you're dealing with a fellow earth sign again, okay. But yeah, Knight of Pentacles, the Devil, the Two of Swords. There's something in your person that suggests, yes, there's a certain pace surrounding their energy. Slow. I need to see why the Devil's pulling up twice. I don't care for that. I don't care for that. It's also the Two of Swords. They may not recognize the problem. If it's such a slow-going thing, Knight of Pentacles, it could very well be that if there's something difficult with their energy here with the Devil, it's been with them a long time, and perhaps they don't see it as an issue. Two of Swords. Show me the shared energy, please, between Virgo and that person. Show me the shared energy, please. It might be a refusal to see that there's an issue. Or I don't know what to do about it, even if they have an idea. Let's see. You're showing the moon in the future. Could be that you are reacting to them. Show me the energy between these two. Show me the energy between these two, please. Show me the energy between these two, please. Queen of Wands, Passion, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Interesting. In the interim of not knowing what to do with this person, perhaps sometimes you feel or they feel, somebody here feels that friendship might be the best course. It might be that you two have developed a friendship between you two where there should be love. Okay. A working energy, a compromise energy. I really need to see that person's devil. Seven of Cups. Emotionally overwhelmed. Feeling a lot of things. Emotional confusion. Okay, energetically speaking, and not knowing what to do with each other, you might default to a certain kind of shaky friendship where there is confusion and emotions. They're displaying confusion. You're displaying moon energy between the two of you. Seven of Cups, there's a lot of feelings here. Some of the overview, please. Some of the overview, please, for Virgo. Show me that overview, please. The energetic overview for Virgo. The Fool. Three of Cups. Some of you want to open up to connecting to this person in that way. Or you wish that they would. Could just be a very strong connection, honey. The Devil can be a very strong connection that just has not come together. I don't know. I need to see. Show me the overview. Four of Cups. Yeah, you're not happy. You're not. You're not happy. The love energy that you're receiving, expressing, what's being offered to you, it's emotional authority. Yes, you have cups to work with, but they're not terribly satisfying. They're not quenching your thirst. They don't have a particular depth. There's not a variety in them. You don't like where the emotional energy is coming from how the love energy is being expressed towards you or what you yourself are personally putting out, right? Let's see. Let's actually start right here. Let's say that four of cups, please, for Virgo. Okay. Straight away. Show me that four of cups, please, for Virgo. Show me that four of cups, please, for Virgo. Show me that four of cups. What's going on? Show me four of cups, please. Show me that four of cups, please, for Virgo. Two cups. Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Eight of Swords. There is confusion here about your love energy. There is confusion here. Virgo's energy says, I, I know I should have probably bigger feelings for this. Perhaps I do have bigger feelings for this and I need to work through it. Some of you are in a basic soul contract, two of cups. Not necessarily a soul bond, but 
tends to be some sort of relationship value that suggests there's love energy between you and another person. There's dissatisfaction with it. The Queen of Cups knows this. Okay, the King and Queen of Cups are very self-owning of their feelings. So I know I'm looking at a Virgo who says, I can own the fact that in my heart space, I should probably be feeling more for this than I should. I understand I'm dissatisfied with it to some extent. I'm not really necessarily sure or convinced of how with that Eight of Swords. Okay, so there is the recognition of an emotional issue here. There is. So that's the good news. You just don't seem to understand where it's stemming from. Why don't I feel more from this? Why don't I feel like I should have, like I don't have enough from them? Is this the love that I'm really destined for? Is this the love I really want? What are my feelings exactly? There's some confusion here about that heart space. I can't quite tell where it's pointing. So we need to narrow that down. Is what I feel wrong? There's love here, so why am I not satisfied with it? Can you not explore it? Does the other person doesn't want to explore it? I don't know. Show me the sun. Let's see the sun here, please. Show me the sun. Oh. Show me the sun, please. Show me the sun, please. Show me the sun, please, for Virgo. Show me the sun, please. Show me the sun, please. Oh. Hair font energy. Two of wands. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we got some commitment energy here. Some sort of relationship value. Mm -hmm. And it felt correct under the sun. It did. It felt spiritually correct. The commitment felt correct. The hair font represents both. Our spiritual world, okay, the one that we sign up to. The one that we says, this is what I know to be true on my spiritual plane of existence. Okay? And therefore, it's what I commit to. I'm committing towards my son. I understand, absolutely, that this makes me happy. Leo Taurus energy. Okay? Let's take it further. Show me this two. I'm really curious about this two of cups. It's come up a couple of times. Show me this two of cups, please. Show me this two of cups, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. It may not necessarily be marriage, but I am seeing what looks like a bond. One that we said yes to, with some conviction. Show me that two of cups, please. Show me that two of cups, please, for Virgo. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Did feelings change? The world? Mm hmm That's two emphasis on change. I don't know that you expected it necessarily. Five of Wands. Fighting off the feeling of change. That Two of Cups means something different now to you. We have the Wheel of Fortune as well as the world. Things have changed. Things have shifted. Things have aligned and realigned. We resisted that quite a bit. You had a sneaking suspicion for some time. For some time. That uh, things were problematic and overbearing. Wanting to manifest a bigger heart space. But where to invest? Would the timing ever be right? That's a lot of change right here. Possibly wanting to open up to a new love path. Possibly. But also resisting that feeling. Anything else here, please, about what this change represents, but pain? Oh, God. The energy is conflicted. The energy is massively conflicted.
If you experienced a recent loss, I'm sorry. Real terror reflects real life, and sometimes it is what it is, exactly as the cards indicate. For some of you, experience loss. I'm sorry. You feel free to express that as you wish and feel comfortable with. For others of you, heavy fixed sign energy in the general sense. I've seen Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio so far. Pisces. For others of you, in regards to your love energy, two cups that you share with somebody, it feels like change has been knocking on your door for a very long time. I don't know that you fully accepted it yet because the moon is under your future orientation. Show me the moon, please. Show me the moon, please, for Virgo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Show me the moon, please. The soul contract might have ended. Or you understand that it has ended. Let me see the moon. Show me the moon, please, for Virgo. Pain. Trying to deal with it, but you're dealing with it quite roughly. Very roughly. And it's under the moon. It feels like such a rough thing to you. Like, you're trying to make things right, but it's like you're attacking the pain. It's under this sense of, I don't want to think about it, and when I do feel it, when I occasionally lapse into that feeling of pain, I try not to think about it. I don't want to. I cut it out as swiftly as it pops up. So, there is an understanding here that something has ended. Physically in the real world? I don't know. Emotionally? Yeah. Emotionally something is over and you put it into a place of the moon. When there's the slightest twitch of pain in your muscle, your heart muscle, the Knight of Swords comes in and attacks it. Shut up, Virgo. Put it under the moon. Physically, have you divided? Have you separated? I couldn't say. But the emotional level has changed a great deal. And, um, I know you resisted it, but we're talking about acceptance here. I don't know that you've emotionally accepted it. Okay. I don't know that you've emotionally accepted it. I don't think that you have. The way you kind of brutally attack your heart space tells me you haven't. Another inclination is to heal. And you seem to be tying it back to this person who has displayed devil energy twice. Is there anything else in here, please? Strength, I know. You're trying to show a phenomenal amount of strength where there is pain. Gemini energy. Taurus Libra. You can't say a way out, or at least you feel you can't. Not yet. Okay. Let's see what's going on with this person. Show me this person, please. <clears throat> show me this person, please. Knight of Pentacles, show me this person. Why are they showing Knight of Pentacles, please? Show me this Knight of Pentacles, please. Show me this Knight of Pentacles, please. For the one surrounding Virgo. Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Slow but steady energy upgrade. Again, heavy earth here. Virgo Capricorn Taurus. 
We went from a Seven of Pentacles to a Ten of Pentacles. Their energy is showing up as Knight of Pentacles. Slow, steady, resourcefulness, practicality, stability, working their way up in the resource ladder. Okay. In terms of providing that stability, sense of structure, slow, steady-paced energy. We started out here. We've graduated to here. There is an energetic graduation here, but it's heavily Pentacle. Um, okay. I'd like to see some more. I would like to see some more, but if I'm tying you two together, a strong sense of um, team energy, we're a team, we're building something together, we're invested in this, Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, both in your opening, a strong sense of goal orientation, building a life, resourcefulness, okay, and it made you happy. And they seem to have a strong sense of dedication and working goals, for sure, bare minimum, to say the least. Show me the devil, please. <clears throat> Excuse me, show me the devil, please. I apologize. It's very much spring here in Texas. It's wreaking havoc on my vocals. Show me the devil, please. Show me the devil, please. Show me the devil. Show me that devil, please, for this person. Queen of Pentacles, heavy, goodness me, heavy, heavy, earth, goodness me. Someone who is very much tied to their comfort zone, tied to the idea of stability, tied to the idea of money and resources, tied to stability. Things have to be a certain way, hermit you. It could be done with Philip Berger. Like I said, there's so much heavy earth here. It's not even funny. It's the the energy, energetic interplay is going to be crazy between you two. Okay. Oh my my my. Okay. <sighs> what were they trying to heal from? It's a certain way of life. It's a steady pace. Checked out. This is all that matters. This is all that's important. Perhaps their devil is is money, finances, resources. I don't know. But their energy is focused so much in the 3D world. It could be that they are addicted to work. It could be that they are addicted to money or resources. A stability, comfort zone. I don't know. I don't know. But in your current energy energetic line there's resistance here that the feelings have markedly changed and you accepting that and looking at it and recognizing it is your biggest pain by far they have this energy of uh, things have been like this forever you know and it's a long winding road your energy is here representing itself What is this person? Why is this person showing hermit? It could just be a reflection of you. I need to see. Show me this. Why are they showing hermit? Why are they showing hermit? Fuck. Eight of pentacles. All earth. 100% earth over here. Just 100% earth. Eight of pentacles. I, I... Somebody's energy here is... is, is drastically tied to the pentacle and I mean almost to the point that it's dramatic to the pentacle realm it's like an obsession with resources comfort coin and the more they acquire the more comfortable they are that's where their strongest sense of self is um, it's almost like this person's afraid to get out of the house it's It's everything's focused in the pentacle world of three. Honey, I'm so blown away by this. It's <sighs> two of swords in the future. I'm not convinced they can see the problem. Somebody here has to be responsible, honey. You're showing moon, they're showing two of swords. Somebody's got to own this. Somebody's got to show me the two of swords, please. Let me just, you know. 
Let's not count the chickens before they're hatched, right? Show me the two of swords, please, for this person in their future orientation. Show me this two of swords, please. Seven of wands. No. Three of pentacles. Tower. They cannot see and resist. They, they, the resistance to see, excuse me, I'm sorry, seven of wands, I spoke backwards. Seven of wands to the two of swords, they resist seeing the truth. Three of pentacles, it's a companionable working relationship, the tower. There's something here they're resisting seeing, and that's, tip, tower is typical, just think of it as a radical overhaul. That's likely overdue. I mean, this person is pentacle across the board. Now again, if you're dealing with a fellow earth sign, there's an energetic interplay here. But uh, there, there's a stubbornness here. A refusal to see the issue. And a three of pentacles is here. It's a working vibration across the board. At the tower. It's uh, resistance, excuse me, to radical change. It's fear. To see this or experience this connection in any other way triggers immense fear. <sighs> the more that is acquired, the more this person's energy can relax. I've seen it. But it's completely conditional on that devil energy. Completely conditional. And that's the devil at its purest form. The more I can indulge in this thing I insist I need, the more comfortable I get. It's like the background noise to any addiction. You can be addicted to comfort. You can be addicted to resources, to money, to stability. Absolutely. Anything that would challenge that is going to provoke somebody's devil and they're going to insist, well, if I just had more of it, I wouldn't be so anxious or difficult to work with. Just appease my devil and we'll be fine. I'll calm down. See? Eight of Pentacles of the Hermit. I calm down. I have more. See? But in the future, the energy does not improve. It degrades. That's why I'm concerned. The energy degrades. Two of Swords, Seven of Wands, that's a blunt refusal to see the truth. To confront ourselves with what's going on, what we're doing, and why. At Three of Pentacles, it's workable, I'm working with it. Um, tower, a radical overhaul is needed. Uh, but this person's resisting that, as you might imagine. You yourself are still in the place of the moon in the future. There is pain here in you, and you're doing your best not to show it or confront yourself with it. It's a reflexive twitch. As soon as you start to feel the pain encroach upon you, you shut it down as quickly as possible. I told you the fact that you can't feel your love energy for this person anymore I know that disturbs you. And the reason it's so hard is because you can't access the place of acceptance yet. I know you two tar started out strong. You had common goals. That's apparent. It's right here. Their energy from the very beginning was stability, 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 resourcefulness. And it was a slow and steady thing, and it's been like this a very long time. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. I'm literally working on building up our financial growth, our stability. That's my focus, and it's always been that way. Or that should be our focus. This is an R. This is a we. This should be our focus. Right? 
is the buildup of our resources. But somebody got addicted to it, and it became all about that. It became all about that stability, resourcefulness, my comfort level. And for, yeah, for some of you, there is an outright fear for somebody to even step outside the door. I just, I need to increase my comfort level. And then when I do that, I feel better. Do you see the correlation? I see a distinct lack of water and fire. Mm. Show me the connection between you two. I need to see it. I can tell you two started out with common goals, strength of unity, foundation, teamship, that kind of thing. I understand. Um, we have a Queen of Wands here. So I know that you two felt some sort of fire between you two, goals, ambition, so forth. And then we go into a Three of Pentacles. Okay. Working relationship, Seven of Cups, overwhelmed with the feelings. Let's see it. Show me this, please. Okay. Show me this Queen of Wands, please. Show me this Queen of Wands. Show me this Queen of Wands, please. <clears throat> that shared energy. Show me that Queen of Wands, please, for the shared energy. There it is again on the split. Devil with Queen of Pentacles. Chained to our comfort zone. Chained to our resources. Chained to the household. Show me the Queen of Wands, please. Show me that. Okay. Devil three times. Again, could be Capricorn energy. But the way I'm seeing it, it's uh, it's not about sign placement. How so? There's that drive. The King and Queen of Wands is drive. The ambition. That ambition energy. For somebody, it gets converted into a negative space. How so? Can I get more on that Queen of Wands, please? Two of Swords. Confusion. It's getting misplaced, I agree. Page of Swords, but not enough inquiry to figure it out further. So from the very beginning, the union, and I, this isn't linear. Tarot is very rarely linear. It's going to jump all over the, the energetic map, as it were. Okay. So don't take it like that. Tarot is ultimately timeless. Right? That's why I got out of the date system and just called it Timeless Terror, because you'll resonate with this when you're meant to, if at all. So take what resonates, leave it does not reverse energies as it applies. So, from the very beginning, somebody's drive, ambition, fuel, you, them, the both of you. That sense of passion, dedication, this is where my energy is going. Immediately from a long time ago got converted into a negative space, but it was on a low-level scale. Page of Swords, Two of Swords. Uh, okay, we can both be a little ambitious, all right? Uh, we, we both might put a lot of emphasis on our resources and our stability and our coin and our comfort. That's okay, though. We're ambitious. We got drive. We got goals, right? That means we're on the same page. So it raised like eyebrows way back when. but not enough for anyone to do any deep diving into it. And so that Two of Swords was born. The Page of Swords, the Two of Swords. Yeah, this is a good thing, right? When we have this kind of drive and level of ambition and about our household and our security and whoever else might be involved, it's a good thing. It's a good thing, right? It's a good thing to have that drive, Ugh! right? And this is where we see the devil for the first time in what is otherwise a strong union. You both had that sense of working towards the same goals. But it went straight away into a bad space. It's one thing to have goals, drive, ambition, and I absolutely believe in that 100%. Who are we without goals? Who are we without drive? Who are we without sense of self? Yes? But from the very beginning, it seems like it was almost an obsession but we didn't raise too much of an eyebrow at it. Again, we're on the same page. We have the same goals. You're, you're, you're concerned about stability and structure? So am I. So let's put all our energy towards that particular devil. 
Show me that three of pentacles, please. Time has passed. Obviously, hit the fast forward button. Time has passed. Show me that three of pentacles, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. Show me that three of pentacles, please. Show me that three of pentacles, please. Show me that three of pentacles, please. Page of Wands, a little bit of inquiry here. I need more. Show me that Three of Pentacles, please, for the shared energy. Five of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Holding on to, just holding on to it, holding on to it. Start to see the moon here. That's when we start to see the moon. Fiercely, ferociously holding on to this. Connectivity, we can make it work. Compromise, stability, holding on, holding on, holding on, holding on to the fighting, holding on to the connectivity points, the Three of Pentacles, holding on to this connection in the 3D world at all costs. Show me the Seven of Cups, please. <clears throat> Show me that Seven of Cups, please. Show me that Seven of Cups, please. Show me that Seven of Cups, please. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, not much has changed between either one of your energies. Told you just because death is here does not mean there's a real ending. I see the emotional ending. I don't see a 3D ending. Here's the thing for you, Virgo, honey. That's why I'm very concerned about you. You seem to be a little bit more aware that your feelings for this particular situation have ended. You're not in a space where you're able to adopt that yet. Not that I see acceptance. In fact, whenever you get close to it, you attack that, and then put it back under the moon. There's somewhere else altogether where their energy insists that things have to be this way in order to feel better. It's control, stability, single-mindedness, and it hurts you. This is not productive to your emotional space or theirs. I don't even know where theirs is. I haven't seen it once. There is this energy in you that wants to open up to the truth. I see it. It wants to open up to the truth that your feelings have changed. That they, in fact, might even be over. But we can't accept that. Not yet. <sighs> Holding on to this, that Derek, I know that you two opened up with common goals. And I know you both thought that this is where our energy needs to go. Exclusively, right? We're on the same page. We're on the same goals. It went into the devil energy almost immediately. Our best fire, direction, ambition. And it was done so in the name of security. Now, I know... I live in the real world too, honey. I have to pay bills too. Okay? But this does not summarize life. And this does not summarize a relationship. You are feeling the direct result of that. Seven of Cups, we have a lot of emotional feelings. It's like hopscotch with our emotions. One day I feel this, one day I feel that. Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, like I told you, we keep that to ourselves. And we continue to maintain a balancing act. So I would implore or impress upon you a couple of points. I'm not seeing any improvement in the future context. I would like there to be. I would like more from you, not less. I would like to see more for you, not less. I want to help you, not hinder you. And I have to be real with you, I'm not seeing improvement in the future. For you, for them, for the both of you. What's interesting to me is that you both display energetic markers of capability. These are both markers of energetic capability. 
that this one's being ignored and this one's being used to deny. So in not knowing what to do, we continue on with the same old, same old. Second point I would impress upon you is your overall opening energy. You know something's not right. You feel it. That same two of cups over here for you, where there is Wheel of Fortune, the world, and death. I know you don't want it to swing that way. But energetically speaking, you are trying to open up to the idea that your feelings for this situation or person has transformed. But there's still confusion about that very thing. I believe you are trying to open up to understand the truth of your feelings, and it's hard. Very hard. Why do I not feel happy? Why am I not receiving the love I'm pretty sure should be here? Why am I not expressing the love I feel I should be able to? I would like to know a lot more about what your person is experiencing on the emotional level because they are straight up pentacle across the board with the exception of the two of swords. Can I see more on this person? Emotional world, please. I'm I'm a water sign. It's very hard for me to navigate love readings without some kind of fucking water being here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see it in you. And there is some sort of emotional recognition that you're not happy and that things aren't right, but you're still not convinced it's about those feelings. Yes, it is. But I do believe you want to understand. Can I see more about this person, please? Can I see more about this person, please? Oh, honey. Why can't I ever see something for you that's just like, oh, look at me, I'm Virgo. Oh. Why? <laughs> just be like, I'm Virgo, bitch. Like, why, why can't, why, Virgo? <laughs> Your day will come. Mark my words. When you change the energy, so too will the reflection. That's how energy works. When you change your energy, everything else changes. One day. One day I'm going to have a magnificent reading for Virgo, and I'm going to plaster it all over the world. On YouTube and on Instagram, Virgo, look at you. I want to get there for you. I do. Show me this person's emotional world, please, outside of the pentacle. Show me this person's emotional world outside of the pentacle, please. What are they experiencing? Heavy emphasis on the hair font. You might have some Taurus in your chart. Leo, like I said. What does this person experience, please, in their emotional world? Manifestation. The world. Show me the manifestation. Passion. Energy. Vitality. Why does it get ex Four swords. But they put it to sleep. Why? They want more energy. I know that. I see that. But they put it to rest. Why the emphasis on the pentacle? Why is there so much emphasis on the pentacle? Seven of Wands. Blockage. Why? 
blockage in the heart space. Waiting. For a start, your person wishes they had more energy. They wish they had more passion, more drive, more direction that was free from, honestly, Virgo, I'm glad I clarified further. This person wants more energetic freedom. They want more uh, passion. They want more sense of direction. They do. But they rest it with the Four of Swords. It's like, now I need to save my energy for the resources. For the stability. Somebody does. It's like their, their, their passionate energy, their sexual energy, everything is kind of put to rest. It's not for lack of want. The magician is here. But for some reason, it goes into a place of quiet. And uh, Seven of Wands, King of Cups, Three of Wands, there is the admission here of a bigger heart space. There is. But it gets blocked. There's this idea of waiting. Three of Wands, I don't know what they're waiting for. What are they waiting for? I, I want this person to experience some sort of emotional freedom. I do. But it's, they're waiting for something. Show me that Three of Wands, please. Show me that Three of Wands. What are they waiting for? Three of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Swords. It's like they're waiting to feel better in their heart space on the condition of their head space. Okay, that's the mental energy. Three of Swords, Nine of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. It's uh, when I ask specifically, this is why I dig deeper, is when I see conflicts like this. On the outset, this person's energy is incredibly straightforward. I'm all about the resources. i got to maximize my resources, my time, energy, efforts, money comfort zone. I'm addicted to my comfort zone and if I can just get more comfortable very much tied to the home space okay, the more that devil energy deflates it's cyclic as most addictions are okay, once we feed it a little bit we can relax until we need the next thing that tells us this is what we need in order to bring our anxiety down, right? okay they want more passion. They do. But they rest it. They need to conserve their energy. Right? And I would have more energy if I could just rest. Seven of Wands, King of Cups, Three of Wands. I want to know what the hell they're waiting on. They're like they're waiting to give themselves permission to open up their heart space into a, a place of freedom of love and expression. I clarified that further with the Three of Wands. When they're showing the Three of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Nine of Swords. So it's like, I need my head. Okay. I'm, I'm so up in my head. I am so anxious that when this clears up, I can feel my feelings again. That's what I'm waiting on. I can have access to my feelings when I can reduce the anxiety. When whatever I'm experiencing up here will change, I know I will literally feel better. It's not quite how love works. It's not. This person has a very hard time giving themselves permission to feel their feelings. And everything is conditional upon the other parts. If I could just feel more comfortable, I wouldn't be so anxious. And if I wasn't so anxious, I could just feel more. Do you see how it's working? That's typically how the devil works. Keep us tied down as much as possible. And everything for this person is conditional. If I had more, I wouldn't be so anxious. And if I wasn't so anxious, I could feel more. And I'm waiting for that day that I can feel more. Cane cups. I'm waiting for it. I'm looking forward to it. But today is not that day to feel good. I've got too much to do before I can feel comfortable and open up and relax. You understand? So that's them. Your energetic ingestion of all this is not good. I see how it's kind of wreaking havoc on you. You both had a similar disposition on the opening. 
and you both thought you were working towards the same solidity and resources under the same sort of, oh, yes, we're energetically committed to this. Somebody automatically took that fire into a bad place. And the resources and the comfort became number one priority. And it's like their energy has been conditional ever since. You feel it acutely and you don't want to. You don't want to quite admit to yourself yet that your two cups for this person has changed. And it happened over a long period of time. Okay. But the world isn't just about closing. It's also opening. And I clarified that further for you. You are opening towards death over your Two of Cups. You have begun, Virgo, to open up to the idea that your Two of Cups for this person has changed. You're exploring it over here. Your swords get in the way. Okay. But there is some recognition here that you are unhappy and it directly involves your Two of Cups. In the future, however, you are showing the moon. Now, I get asked that question a lot. What does the moon mean? It's our illusions, our delusions. The ocean is vast and deep. That which we find to be the most confrontational, obscure, difficult, combative. The stuff that challenges us the most, in other words, we kind of put that under the moon. You're in pain, and you act like you're not supposed to be. You're actually quite hard on yourself. Because what you're actually feeling or rather what you're not feeling is real and it's valid and uh, you tell yourself you're not supposed to be that's why I'm concerned for you this person has their own problems you have yours too and in this respect the baggage is not matching up Everybody has package. I've been saying that more and more because people seem to understand that. Everyone has baggage. Your set of baggages, as it were, are not matching up. Yours is largely induced by the circumstances of your relationship. Theirs is coming from an internal space of need and comfort and everything being conditional upon everything else. In order for the dominoes to fall in order, the ones preceding it have to fall in order too. With some strength of conviction, it's like I'm going to attack my heart space and make it like that, like this isn't happening. Like this is not happening. I'm rejecting that. Their tower is obvious. Uh, if they want more for themselves and in this connection, their love space, any of it, they want access to any of it, they're gonna require a tower. An understanding of all these things. If they knew, perhaps, how much your love space for them has changed, if you could admit it to yourself and with them, that might be the catalyst they need. I don't know. I'm not saying this person here is all about the money. I'm not saying that. It's different. It's coming from a devil space. It's fear. It's fear that um, if I have my stability, my anxiety will come down and therefore I can feel the love. Well, somebody's been working in this 
unending pentacle energy for a long time, and they have yet to see any evidence of that particular theory, but they keep doing it. So that means it falls to you. Somebody here has to be the wiser one. Somebody here has to own this. And it's looking like it's you, because I see you trying to understand to some extent why you're unhappy or why you can't feel your feelings. I know part of you feels guilty about it. Like you don't want that to be the case. You don't want to address it. You just kind of attack your own heart instead of being forward about what you're feeling. Which again, I will point out, might be a good catalyst for them, i.e. the tower. Mm. You want to heal this? Temperance of the devil? You want to heal this? Own what you're experiencing. Own what you're experiencing and how it's affecting you. First with yourself, then with them. This person's waiting on permission. It looks like they'll never get to feel better. So it's you, Virgo, that's going to have to be forthright with this. I have not seen any substantiating <clears throat> timeline energy. I just know that this has been going on a long time. Enough for many of you to become accustomed to it even feel guilty about how your feelings have not transformed. Which is going to require you to have all the more strength of positivity instead of using it against yourself. Significant timelines, please, for Virgo. Significant. Significant time frames, please, for Virgo. Mm-mm, 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 Narrow it down. For some of you, the heights of summer. I did see Leo here already. Yes, a couple times, actually. We also have Taurus energy. So we are just now entering Taurus. For some of you, there might be some critical energy happening now. For others of you, Leo season. Possibly June. I don't know by Capricorn season or Scorpio season, but it could be. Sure. Significant time frames, please. Significant timelines only for Virgo next water season. So that puts us in Cancerian season, which would be late June to late July, as we said. Okay, for some of you, Taurus season, like I said, five. And for others of you, there might be some arguing, the tension, five of wands now, particularly as it relates to the feelings, rather the expression of them. Okay, what else, please? Five. I keep getting five. It's time for change. I agree. I agree for some of you, five, May, six, June, which again would put us in cancer season, so heavy synthesis being now to Cancer season, and then Leo season runs in after that. So there might be some critical tension energy happening now. Okay? It needs to happen. It needs to happen. More so in the admission of what it is you feel, and also what it is you don't feel. Big heart. Yeah. 
right on the thumb. What else, please? No. Star, sign of Aquarius, clouds. Just in the general air signs, Gemini, Libra, and again Aquarius. But hazy. Can't see. Hazy, cloudy. Cloudy days. The general sense of um, there's always overhead, there's always an overcast. Yes, infinity loop. It feels like this has been going on a long time. Cat, the intuition, of course. For some of you, simply have a cat. E. S. P. Y. Yeah, the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. No time to say hello, goodbye, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Someone who spends a great deal of their energy. Constantly keeping busy. Maintaining the resources, worrying constantly, worrying constantly about time, energy, investment, resources, where is it going and why. All that. Dragon, Aries, Leo, Sag, Pegasus, the representation of masculine pride, masculine sense of freedom, independence. The energy, wanting to exert one's own spirit and take the fuck off. Freedom. G. The busy bee. Oh yes. Somebody's energy is constantly busy, bzz, but also the representation of all that anxiety and the constant movement of one's mind. <clears throat> Excuse me. S. I already said that. Yes, I did. Virgo. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I mowed the lawn the other day. So all that fantastic, uh, glorious Central Texas pollen just, um, well, that just got all up in there. <laughs> it was my turn to raise a ruckus. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> no, I do excellent lawn care, honey. I just don't do it once a week. Talk about neurotic, okay? These people, once a week like clockwork, baby. Give your grass a minute to rest. People have no idea, actually, the further you strip... I'm sorry, but now it just... It put me in that space, honey. It put me in that space. It's like, if you just allow your grass to grow a little bit more than a week out, it actually grows back stronger, healthier, and greener. But uh, these fools, no, no, no. <laughs> Once a week. Let me tell you. In my lawn, of course, it's now immaculate. <laughs> a little bit of humor. That's who I am. Virgo. I hope you get to that space where you stop turning on yourself about the feelings you naturally feel and about the feelings you naturally don't feel. I know a lot of time, I know, I know a lot of time and energy and resources went into this commitment. And in the beginning, you both agreed upon it, okay? This is the best use of us in our determination and ambition. It went into the devil energy very quickly, but you were both on the same page about it, okay? There were some right, eight, uh, eyebrows raised on the subject, but we didn't go too far into it. We didn't really question it. We question it heavily now. I don't think my feelings are still in this. Not for these reasons. Not anymore. Okay? You put in the comments as you see fit. I hope to see more lovely things for you. I dare say sexier things for you. fun. Anything. <laughs> we'll get there. Take care.
be well.